Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your psychic and tarot readings for the rest of February 2017. So that's covering the 20th till the 28th of February 2017. Um, because I was traveling earlier in the month and then I had some health issues, um, I haven't been able to post to my regular schedule, um, but hopefully we'll be back on track for March. Um, so we will be using the Spiral Tarot deck uh, and doing a modified Celtic Cross here for the uh, tarot portion and then the Psychic Oracle cards uh, for the Psychic Messages uh, in the second part of the reading. Okay, so uh, please remember that these are general readings so they may not apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Um, make sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings to get additional insight that may resonate better with you. And of course, keep in mind for the messages that come through. Uh, they may apply exactly as they come through. They may apply uh, a little bit differently. So an open mind is always um, required. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for joining me and thank you very much for all your support. Uh, if you're interested in private readings, all the links you need are in the description box below. So let's just jump in. I hope you enjoy your readings and that you have a wonderful uh, rest of the month. Hi Taurus and welcome to your reading. Uh, thank you for joining me. Let's jump in and see what the rest of the month has in store for you. At the bottom of the deck we have the tower. So with the tower at the bottom of the deck here, um, it may be or it may seem like Things are unsettled at this time. The tower talks about um, sudden changes. Um, it can represent uh, something unexpected that happens. Uh, usually as a result of the tower, something is taken away so that something else can come in. Um, the tower can represent uh, anything from problems with electricity in the house and so you have to uh, move out until they get fixed or something like that. It can represent an argument you didn't see coming. It can represent um, a sudden change when it comes to work where things feel uncertain for a little while but if you give them time actually it may be a better move um, that happens as a result of the tower. This is things being shaken up. Okay, This is dealing with a lot of unexpected, unplanned situations that may initially take you aback. However, the thing with the tower is whatever is taken away as a result of the tower energy, um, it wasn't a good influence in your life anyway. Okay, So if you have a fight with someone and they leave your life, um, chances are uh, that person wasn't a good person to have in your life anyway. So the tower is kind of like a blessing in disguise, but it, it comes across as something very uncomfortable when it happens. But if we write it out, um, we uh, eventually see that it was a really good thing that whatever that situation was happened the way that it did. Uh, in your current situation, we have the Two of Cups. So with the Two of Cups in your current situation, the Two of Cups represents um, a beautiful partnership, very balanced partnership, an equal partnership. For some of you, this talks about love life, okay? Maybe someone coming out of the blue uh, with the tower. It can be someone sweeping you off your feet, love at first sight kind of thing, uh, where you're not even looking to meet anyone, and yet you meet this person and you're completely smitten. Um, with the Two of Cups, this can be uh, a surprise offer in terms of a job and you partnering up with uh, another person for work or starting to work for another company and so this is a contract being offered to you and it's actually a really good opportunity it's exactly what you deserve um, you get what you give in the situation and it's coming out of the blue uh, with the tower in your overall energy um, it's crossed by the ace of wands and so the ace of wands is what's going to help you or hinder you now the ace of wands it can um, talk about Again, very sudden energy and like a burst of energy or uh, something new that happens and it, and it takes off really, really quickly. Um, so with the Tower of the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands, this can be um, a job offer that comes out of nowhere. It can be um, a relationship opportunity that comes out of nowhere. It can be a proposal that comes out of nowhere um, with these energies. 
especially if you're dealing with a fire sign or a water sign and fire signs are Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and water signs are Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces <coughs> excuse me with the <coughs> Ace of Wands here it can also represent new life so for some of you with the two cups and the Ace of Wands in the tower um, this can be a pregnancy that happens that was not planned uh, or you weren't, oh, you weren't expecting it to happen, you weren't planning for it to happen, but the Ace of Wands can represent new life uh, as well. This can be a work partnership, okay, where you go and um, go to work with a friend, uh, or you partner up with a friend, or you start a business together, or you join, join a friend or someone joins you, another friend joins you, because the Two of Cups is also a very a very beautiful uh, friendship that the Two of Cups can talk about. Um, and of course it can represent working with your romantic partner as well. With the Tower, the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands, okay, for those of you, um, this may be a heated conversation. This may be a heated argument that may cause rifts within a relationship. This can be a friendship, uh, someone in the family, or um, a romantic partnership as well. Um, what I would say is try to stay balanced, okay? Try to keep your cool. Um, think things through. Don't say anything that you can't take back. Um, and try to give the other person the benefit of the doubt. Um, if this does happen, it will be short-lived, it will be temporary, um, but if you're not careful, it can turn into something a lot bigger. This can also represent moving in together with someone, and again, it wasn't planned or it's happening very quickly or too soon, some might say, but some of you could be dealing with that as well. In the foundation for why things are the way they are, we have the High Priestess. So with the High Priestess, I feel that if there are arguments happening, it's because of things that are hidden, things that are concealed, uh, people keeping secrets, that sort of energy here. Um, for others of you, if this is in a work sense, then the High Priestess represents uh, acquiring knowledge, uh, learning, studying, uh, practicing what you learn, and that's where this surprise offer is coming from. So maybe you're, you're enrolled to study something, and someone uh, there really likes you for um, a job that they have um, an opening for, okay? So even though you didn't go there specifically to look for a job, you just went to learn something new, um, someone else there might actually have a job offer for you. Okay, so it could be something like that. Um, for those of you, the High Priestess can represent um, arguments or someone feeling left out, okay, the high priestess can represent a one-sided relationship where um, someone's more involved than the other person or uh, someone's absent, okay, they're there but they're not there kind of energy, okay, so they're not paying attention to what's going on, they're not really um, pulling their weight sort of thing, so it, there can be conversations regarding that. And for others, this is just a hunch, okay? I feel like it's, it's a hunch or it's your gut feeling telling you that something's off uh, and it may cause an argument, okay? And if this is the case, uh, trust your instincts, absolutely always trust your instincts, but try to get additional information or if you're gonna have that conversation, try to stay calm and see what happens, okay, before uh, it turns into something uh, a lot big, bigger um, and meaner than it needs to be okay with all this fire energy here. In the recent past, we have the Six of Swords. So with the Six of Swords, um, for some of you, um, this is moving, so for some of you, you are moving in with someone else. Um, the Six of Swords can also represent leaving a situation. Uh, for some of you, the Two of Cups can represent a reconciliation after a, a fight, after a big argument, and maybe you even moved out or you left, uh, you took your space for a while. Um, and now you're having that reconnection uh, and new passion and new life for that relationship. For some of you, that's how this could be playing out. For those of you, the Six of Swords says that you may um, have recently moved with the Tower as well and you're settling in and you're making good friends along the way. 
with this energy here. Um, the Six of Swords is a card that says that you've recently left a troubled situation behind, uh, choosing to move forward and uh, to make healthier decisions and healthier choices in your life. That's kind of what the Six of Swords is about, okay? It's where uh, we leave drama behind uh, in toxic situations, relationships, and people. Uh, we leave them behind because we're looking for peace, we're looking for harmony, and an easier time, okay? A smoother road ahead. Uh, no more ups and downs, no more arguments, no more, um, you know, kind of te tempers flaring or gossip or people being uh, mean for no reason, okay? And that's where we're coming from. Um, and like I say, for some of us, this may have involved a change in job or it may have involved a change in the people we hang out with or even a change in residence. In your crowning thoughts, we have the Emperor. So the Emperor is uh, the card of Aries. So for some of you, um, either you're thinking about an Aries, you're starting a relationship with an Aries, or this is a person that you are uh, running away from, or this is a person that you're trying to leave behind and maybe they're not letting you, okay? Um, the Emperor can also represent you taking charge of the situation, okay? Now, you made a decision to walk away. You made a decision to change your life. You made the decision to um, allow only the right kind of people to enter your life and to share your time, energy, and resources with people who deserve that. Uh, and so with the emperor, you're really standing your ground. You're putting your foot down um, and establishing a new way of being and a new, a new way for people to um, treat you, okay? Um... For those of you, this could also be uh, family, okay? Maybe you're going back to family or you're healing a family situation or you're seeking refuge with a family member or a close friend, although the emperor does represent a father figure as well that you're thinking about. Now, it could be that, you know, this is the person helping you or the person you think of in terms of what would they do in this situation, uh, the person inspiring you, uh, or like I say, this person could be the person challenging you or causing you troubles. The emperor can also represent conversations with figures of authority. So it could be that um, you're in communication a lot um, with a figure of authority that is maybe offering whatever this is to you or that is helping you navigate uh, this change in your life that you're dealing with at this time. And for those of you, fatherhood is on the mind. Um, starting a family is on the mind here, okay? Um, with this energy. And in the outcome position, we have the princess of wands or the page of wands. And so for some of you, this is about children, having a child, maybe with the fire sign or having a child during the time of Aries um, and preparing for that. Uh, but for some of you, you're definitely finding out that you're going to have a child, okay, with this energy here. For those of you, this is a new energy in your work situation, new energy uh, in your careers. Maybe the Six of Swords for some of you in the tower represents a change in career altogether. Uh, or it represents changing jobs, but you've also had to move for that. And so it's a completely new, fresh, different situation for you. Um, but with the Page of Wands, this is good news. This is positive communication, online communication. You could be uh, making new friends, new contacts, being welcomed into a new group of people or um, a team at work. For those of you, the Page of Wands is... Communication from this fire sign, so again, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but this is positive communication. This is compliments going out, invitations, um, sending you supportive messages with this energy. Job opportunities, job offers opening up to you um, with the Page of Wands. It could also be an invitation, uh, either you're extending an invitation to people to come see you or uh, you're invited to travel and meet um meet up with friends or family or people you haven't seen in a while. There's an element of new uh, or foreign uh, coming up here. So again, for some of you, you could have been moved, moving or you've moved recently, uh, you're preparing to move um, or you're stepping into a new phase in your life that you haven't been in before. Uh, like for example, maybe you haven't lived with someone before, now you're living with, that per with someone, okay? You're living with a partner uh, or you haven't worked abroad before now you could be looking at working abroad 
uh, or you haven't lived on your own before now you could be looking at uh, living on your own that sort of thing okay it's new energy is doing something new and different um that's really asking you to step out of your comfort zone and to think outside the box and i feel like everything's happening really really quickly um with the tower there as well and all this fire energy but you're definitely headed in a good direction okay uh with the page of wands is their outcome and good news whatever your news you're waiting on this is good news uh coming your way so let's look at your psychic messages so you have the blossom card so with the blossom card okay this is things coming together is what i'm getting with this energy um for some of you it's definitely about motherhood family pregnancy here okay for those of you this card talks about um, making the family whole again so resolving issues with the family going back to family perhaps marriage happening for some of you marriage proposals for those of you this does feel like uh something that's been a long time coming um it can be a house move it can be a pregnancy that you've um uh, been working on for a while it's been a long time coming but it's it's finally here okay it's coming it's it's happening <clears throat> for those of you this is good news about your health your health getting back on track being healed um <clears throat> So what I'm seeing is like um, a patch of ground that dried up um, and it, it, it was completely dried and then you know now it's starting to you start to see plants breaking through you start to see um, a couple of leaves um, coming through that cracked surface okay so that makes me think of someone in recovery um, potentially someone who has had um, radiation treatment or chemotherapy where uh, it's almost like the, the slate was wiped cleaned, uh, clean sorry, and now you're starting to blossom again. It's like where uh, your hair starts to grow again or you get your full head of hair back. Um, your strength comes back. it's that kind of energy that's coming through okay something that was completely wiped wiped clean um is now recovering um and it's starting to blossom again for those of you um i'm seeing a gift some sort of a, either a pendant or an amulet or um, something that is valuable to someone else. So it may not be something that is valuable in terms of expensive, but it could be something that has been handed down to, through generations or something that holds a great um, value, emotional value uh, to someone else. And I feel like that person is gifting you um, with that particular object. Um, I'm getting some sort of jewelry item It's almost like, you know, to, to help you through uh, whatever you're dealing with because it helped them uh, sort of thing, okay? And also something being handed down like from mother to daughter, daughter or father to daughter, father, father to son. Handed down through the generations. So it could be connected to a wedding uh, or um, engagement or maybe you receive someone's ring. Uh, your mother's or your grandmother's or a ring that's been in the family. It could be something like that. Um, for those of you, I 
feel like you're either taking time off or you're using your time off to work on your garden. Either you're buying plants or you're planting them uh, or you're nurturing them, helping them grow. And for some of you, I feel like you're seeing something budding, like a flower, it looks like a rose. I don't know if roses bud this time of year, but it depends where you are really. For those of you, um, I feel like you may be studying or looking at um, astrology or astronomy. I feel like looking at, you know, the, the solar system, sun and the planets and um, how everything comes together and um, learning about the diff different um, planets. Or even working on a project for, for, a, uh, for a child or for um, someone who's got a project about the solar system. I feel like you may be helping them for some of you. I feel like things that you have been working on for a long time, investing a lot in, they're finally coming together. They're finally going to produce results. And that's going to be financial for some of you. For this again, I feel like it's related to a pregnancy, your work life. Maybe you've been going through a very long and tedious change of careers. So you've kind of had to start from scratch and you've made a lot of sacrifices. But it's finally coming together. You're finally gonna see very positive results. And first I'm also seeing presenting your accomplishments either to friends, family, or with um, a company you work for. Or if it's your company, you're presenting how well you're doing. and being celebrated for it. Okay, so um, that's the reading that I have for you. Um, I hope it makes sense. Um, I hope that it helps. I'm looking forward to your comments, letting me know how these messages make sense to you if they apply. Remember to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of February and I'll talk to you very, very soon in the March videos. Take care.